It's Head Cracks Hip Hop Spot. All right, y'all, Rick's Mind the Morning Show. Hey, the time right now is 28 before the top of the hour. What up, Crack? What up, Rick? Here's what's going on in the world of hip-hop, man. Word the DOS effects. It's riggedy rough out here in these streets for some people, <laughs> especially if your name is Robert Sylvester Kelly. Yeah. Now, uh, he did catch a break in this case where, like, you know, a girl in Texas was trying to prosecute him, saying, uh, you know, hey, he held me against my will and gave me alcohol and drugs and gave me an STD. Uh, basically, they dropped those charges in Texas, and they want to try these charges again in New York City uh, with the Law and Order Special Victims Unit. <laughs> um, and they're gonna like try this again in May. <sighs> so we'll see what happens. Wow. We will see what happens. I wonder if I still be there because that would totally seal the deal. <laughs> Just saying. Um, other R. Kelly news. They're saying he might run off to Africa. Really? Yeah, because, it, oh, it's getting ill. I just saw a thing come across the news wire where they said uh, his former manager got arrested. Oh, wow. Like, in you know, in connection with some of these things that were uncovered in the documentary. Wow. How? If they what don't have what? evidence on him, how do they have evidence on a manager? Well, it, the, the weird thing is uh, maybe it had nothing to do with anything that's going on currently. But, you know, it just flashed across, like, while I started to do the hip-hop spot. One of the guys that was on the actual thing? Uh, they said one of his former managers has been arrested. Demetrius? Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Uh, you know, it you know it, it popped off. Oh, it hit with a, an arrest warrant. My bad. Because what he did say on there is that he made the, he forged the papers for the uh, marriage certificate. He changed the Leah's age. Okay, so here's what it is. James Mason. Um, they say he went after you know one of the women's mothers mm. that was on the Lifetime Surviving R. Kelly series and threatened to kill her. Mm. Can't and, uh, do that. Yeah, it's not allowed. You're not At allowed all. to threaten to kill people. At all. It's Terroristic kind of, threats. Yeah, it's frowned upon yep. in the court of law. Can't um, do it. You know what's not frowned upon? What's that? What? Dope people. Okay. YBN Corday. You've heard me mention his name quite some time on this show. Right. He's dope. He's from the Carolinas or something. Okay. And you know who else realized he's dope? The Dr. World? Dre realized he's dope. Ooh. Yeah. Yo, YBN Corday over some potential Dr. Dre produced beats is going to slaughter people. Oh my god. Like yo, he's he's catching wreck with over just minimal beats. Who do you compare him to? Um, he kind of got his own way. Reminds me, I don't want to say of a young J. Lyrically. Cole. Lyrically, like he reminds me of a young J. Cole. Okay. J. Like, Cole is dope. Yeah. Yeah. You know who else is dope that J. Cole's affiliated with? Who? That dag on J.I.D. Like I mean, and I and I told you that the Caprio 2 was dope right. when it dropped. Right. But I listened to it the other day in the gym. When I can listen to your album in the gym with no skips. Please send me this stuff. Text it to me, please. I will you always do. keep me up on who I need to listen to, and it's, it's always ill. Don't he don't. Yes. Man, it could be I don't be knowing stuff till I come sit in the hip hop spot. <laughs> light, light every, the every ten artists that come out, they come out every day. He know he be on. Yeah, you got to because like everybody has access to a studio and it's easy to record and True. it's easy to rap. So like you know you really got to sift through the nonsense to get to the good stuff. And there's so much talent out here once you sift through it. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of dope people yeah. and they all have something to contribute. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you know, Twenty One Savage put it so eloquently. Like you know, some people rock with him, some people don't. Right. It's like hey, if everybody rap the same. You know, or like, you know, like somebody may be whack to you, mm -hmm. but that may be somebody's favorite artist. Right. Different strokes for different folks. Right. Because for whatever reason, certain people appeal to certain people for a certain way. Right. I've read a couple books, so I like I like certain types of artists. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Certain people who don't like to read and don't like to expand, you know, don't like to sweat when they listen to music. They, right. you know, they may like other types of artists and that's fine. Right. We all supposed to exist. That's what makes festivals fun. Okay. It's like, like Coachella. A, exactly. Yeah. It's like a tapas bar of music. You get to hear a bunch of stuff. Yeah, different variations. Yeah. Fries yeah. the spice of life. So it's the cider <laughs> I'm drinking. Anyway, that's it for me. For some other stories, I'm following Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. Praise break up next. Ricky Smiley, more.